the most common tick species that a lot of people encounter, the way that they get onto a host is they will get into the vegetation, they crawl up, they sit there waiting for you to walk by and then they ambush you and they'll grab on with their two forelegs. They will cut through your skin, cut through a small blood vessels and create a pool of blood and they, they feed from that pool of blood. They're unique that one bite can actually cause multiple diseases. One can transmit a disease. You don't need to be bitten by multiple ticks in order to get something. Female ticks usually lay their eggs in the spring and summer months. This means that there is a heightened risk for tick bites. Springtime is seen as the, one of the riskiest times because of the disease risk at that particular stage. So start off life as eggs and then they hatch from those eggs into little larvae, uh, which are very, very tiny. You are not going to find the eggs. The eggs are very small and actually they are deposited in the soil. So if they're that hard to spot, what can you do? You want to actually prevent the adult females getting into your backyard and uh, dropping off their host. So some of the best things that people can do is probably habitat modification to their backyards to make it a bit more inhospitable, particularly to those larger mammals, which are going to be uh, the really great hosts for those adult females. So put a perimeter between really thick vegetation areas and where you and your family might be spending a lot of time. What you should use is a repellent to prevent tick bites. It's always strongly recommended that you check your pet, you check yourself. What if it's already too late? The key thing is get the tick off as soon as possible. Using fine tipped forceps or tweezers is the best thing uh, to carefully remove them. Grab them firmly and pull up. Don't pull to one side because you can break the tick and leave the mouth parts inside the body. If you squeeze or agitate a tick, I know that there's a lot of tales out there of like, burning a tick or something like that. But if you agitate a tick too much, it can actually regurgitate the saliva and also the microbes that cause disease into your bloodstream. So you don't want that. So you want to remove the tick as carefully as possible. And that's why those fine tipped forceps are the best thing to use.